Panixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm back with yet another doll video, and this time again, it's handmade doll only made out of newspaper, and it's only one finger small. So let's get started. So over here, as you can see, I've taken this newspaper and my brush. So now I'll just make a coiling out of it. Now I'll just cut the excess paper and then I'll just glue it up. So this way I've got two coilings over here. So this is what the measurement looks right now. Now from here I'll just cut it out. So now as you can see I've got these two pieces over here. And this one the tallest one. So after doing that, this is the three coilings I get. Now I'll take the tallest one and then I'll fold it from this side, getting two equal parts on each of the sides. So this will be the hands and now this will be the leg and the body. So now I'll just glue them together. So now as you can see the legs are equal, I'll apply the hands as well. Now let's start making the body a little bit thick and this is what I'm gonna do. I'll just take newspaper stripes and I'll roll it over the places I want it to be. So this is how the body looks right now. Now I'll just take a tiny cardboard piece and I'll stick it over here on the front side. This way. Well, after doing that, this is how the body looks right now. Now, I'll just take another piece of coiling and I'll insert it over here. You can also use some plastic straw if you want. So, this will help the neck to move. Then, I'll just cut this part again. Okay, so after cutting this part, now what I'll do is that I'll take some tissue paper clay over here and I'll just insert this brush and then I'll just make a hole. So if you don't know how to make tissue clay, it's very easy. You just have to take some tissue paper pieces, put it in some water and glue and mix it well. And that's how you get this tissue paper clay. It's very easy. So now after doing that and giving the head a proper shape, I'll just take the nose as well. And it's also made out of tissue clay only. Now I'll take my cutting tools and I'll just do the nose properly. So now these are the ears which I'll be applying on each of the sides of the faces and it's also made out of tissue clay. Well after doing that I have these hands and legs cut out out of cardboard which I'll be sticking on each of the sides of the hands and as well the legs. So once I get this proper shape of the doll, now what I'll do is that I'll take this doll and I'll just take these cardboard pieces on the sides just to get that nice waist and nice shape of the body. So well, after I'm done with that, I'll just get this part from the middle and I'll just make a tiny knot over here just so the head will move properly but also it will stay in its place now I'll just stick this cardboard paper on top of the place Okay guys, so now it's the painting part. So I'll take my acrylic paints and my brushes and start this work. So over here I'm painting the skin color for the face and the rest of the body. You can also use fabric paints instead. It does the same work as acrylic paints. And I'll just paint the doll body completely. Alright, so after I'm done with that, I'll just use this brown color and I'll paint the head. And then I'll just make the eyes, the nose and the lips. Well, 
now after I'm done with that, I'll take my black acrylic paint and I'll just paint this blouse. So because it's very very tiny so I'm not gonna use any fabrics over here I'll just paint it instead and while I'm painting this I would like to say that I was getting so many requests to make this finger sized doll because I made a doll house previous and you guys wanted a doll to play with it so that's why I'm making this doll now for the sari I'll just go with this beautiful green color and it's basically a sea green color fabric and I'll stick it over here on the body. So once I'm done with that now I'll take this another piece of green colored mesh fabric and as you can see it has sequins on the border. So we'll use this for the sari and it will be a very tiniest cute sari. So over here I'll just make these pleats over here with my fingers. And then I'll just glue it together so that it stay in its place. So now once I'm done with that, I'll make the pleats over here as well for the front side. And then glue it again just so it stays in its place too. Okay, so this is how the sari looks right now. Now I'll just start applying this onto the doll. So it's a little bit difficult just to apply the sari on her and get that perfect shape, but it will take quite some time, but it will look great. So now after drooling this, I'll just take it from the top and just put it behind. Okay, so I'll just glue it on the shoulder. So now once that is done, this is how the sari looks right now and it is now completed. Now let's make the hairs. So for that, I'm using this dark brown silk thread and I'll take this cardboard piece and I'll start rolling it. So for those of you who are already from my channel and you know how I make hairs, so you must probably know that it's very easy to make. But for those of you who are new over here, this is how I make all my doll's hairs. So I'll just tie a knot over here using the same thread. And then I'll just take this part out. And then I'll just cut it. So once I'm done with that, this is how I get the hair strand. Now I'll just put some fabric glue on the head. I'll just insert this once I'm done with that I'll put some jewelry over here so this is basically some glitter foam sheet stripes which I'll be tying as bangles and these sequins as some jewelry over here for the earrings and well so tada guys this is how my doll looks right now and it's just a finger sized doll it's equal to your finger and it looks so beautiful and so cute guys this is how it looks you can use this to play with the doll house that I made earlier in my video so you can go and check that out as well and if you guys want to see me just playing with this in my dollhouse so then comment down below and tell me so that I can make a separate video of that and this is how it looks guys if you like this please make sure give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe till next time bye bye